we were in the Atlantic offices in Los Angeles. The album was done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Completely done. And they're like, oh, by the way, we want you to critique the song, John Michael Montgomery's I Swear. And which is the country version. Country version, yeah. which I love. I'm a John Michael Montgomery fan. Well, he didn't say we want to do it yet. We were just critiquing yeah. it. So we just thought, okay. you know, as newbies in the business, the head of the label wants us to critique something. It's like, oh, well, it's got good lyrics and da da da. He's like, we want you to sing it. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, we supposed to be R and B, like that's like why, a twang. Why like, would we do that? <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, oh, David Foster's gonna produce it. I was like, okay. okay. <laughs> and and here we are. History today. The, the first five hundred thousand copies of our debut album, I swear, is not listed on the back of it. Oh, it's no, only a yeah, yeah. It's just a red sticker that says also includes I swear. I swear comes out and it debuts at number seventy two. Five weeks later. We were number one for 11 weeks, and we tied as the third longest Elvis. running song on Billboard history at the time with Elvis's Don't, Don't Be, Be Cruel. Cruel. Yeah. yeah, It was just such a whirlwind at the time because we were doing so much press, so much TV. People knew who we were. You know, we are meeting all these famous people. Remember when we met Janet Jackson mm -hmm. backstage in a show that we did? She's like, were you in the hallway earlier? And I was like, yeah. She's like, I thought that was you. And I'm like, you thought that was me, Janet. <laughs> you know who I am? I couldn't believe, I was like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Everybody wants to have one of those career-defining songs. One line of that song, and everybody knows it. And that's the dream, like that as a songwriter, as a performer, as a musician, that you have something to do with something like that. You know, it just makes us feel blessed, you know, to know that we're a part of people's lives because of this song. I feel honored, I feel humbled. To see that we make that effect on people is just, out of this world. I think the reason that I swear resonated with, with fans everywhere, it hits every topic, you know, it, it hits on love, relationship. You know, as, as us guys, we don't, you know, always have the right words, but that song has the right words.